Basically a turd straight out the box, this HP 14 couldn't do much. But now with a few simple upgrades, we're gaming baby. You just might want to plug your nose as I show how this turd came to life. Hello folks, and welcome to Mods Tech. Super sleek, small, light, and compacted, then how can a Ryzen 5 machine be a turd wrapped in plastic? Many reasons, such as power saving settings applied at the factory, bloatware added to the OS that serves no purpose, RAM that's running single channel, slow mechanical hard drives, and so on. A hair dryer and a small Phillips screwdriver is all you will need to explore the inside of your HP 14. Remember when laptops had names, not just random numbers? By gently pulling up these strips, you will expose the screws. Everything under here is self-explanatory. We have two RAM slots, one which is occupied. We have an M.2 NVMe drive that has a piece of tape on it. For what reason? I'm not sure. Lastly, there is a spot for a full-size SSD. However, the ribbon cable is something you have to purchase separately. When upgrading RAM, ideally you want the speeds to match. The stock speed of the 8 gig stick supplied is 3200 and the one I have laying around is 2400. Usually what this means is both sticks will run the matching slower 2400 speed. So try to match the sticks is what I'm saying. I'm determined to do some 4K editing on this machine, so the measly 256GB M.2 just won't do. And for $40, this crucial 1TB just seemed like the right thing to do. And yes, it increased the performance as well. This turd is starting to smell better. And now I see why the M.2 is taped. It wiggles around with the stock screw. The ink hem is for crucial, supplying the correct one. Now I also downgraded from Windows 11 to Windows 10 Pro. Tweaked and bloated, so let's see our upgraded HP in motion. 